a very good afternoon from a car park here in Blackpool. This is a uh, Blackpool South car park just at the end of Eden Way over there. Eden Way links the end of the motorway and drops you down here just before Waterloo Road by the SO petrol station and yeah we have a massive car park which used to be the old uh, central lines and old south lines to uh, Blackpool town centre well yeah the many many years ago before even I was born they completely tarmacked all this over and made it one giant car park so yeah, as you can see car park stretches all the way to some houses over there so all the way over there and you can see Blackpool Tower just in the distance there but the old Blackpool South Railway is still there it does run to the end of there that, that is the, uh, the end of the line from Blackpool South to Preston it runs over here and then under the bridge over there but yeah what I'm going to be doing in this new series though is you can see the Pleasure Beach just over there you can see big one on the top of Ice Plus I'm actually going to be doing some top tips so yeah, this one's going to be all around parking. Where's the best place to park for like the cheapest rate if you don't want to pay Pleasure Beach prices because they are quite expensive to pay to park there. They're £18 or £15, depending on which car park you actually go for. But yeah, this one's going to be about parking. There's going to be another one on where to get the best ticket rates. Uh, another one on how to navigate the park in the best way to get your value for money. And I might do one on the best places to eat as well. But yeah, as I say, this one is going to be around parking. And I'm starting here in Blackpool South, which I would recommend parking here, to be fair, because it's it's big, it's safe, there's plenty of space as always. And it's only a five minute walk from the Pleasure Beach. And yeah, as I just said, the train station, right on queue, there's a train. There we are. Here's one by Northern Rail. Goes to the end by them billboards all the way up to Preston. But yeah. Blackpool South car park is a must. So yeah, I'm going to show you the prices quickly. Because if you do choose to park in here, I would advise parking in the corner over there, going up that yellow bridge. So you have to go out and then back up the bridge. And then there's a staircase on the other side, which is that five minute walk to the park, Sandcastle and South Pier, which are directly down that road there, which is Station Road. But yeah, on the back of this sign here, I'll show you the prices just so you get an idea of prices here so yeah Pleasure Beach charge you 18 pounds for 24 hours whereas here as you can see it's 24 hours for 16 pounds which obviously is a saving it's not a massive saving but it's still a saving but yeah you've got up to three hours four pounds six hours seven pound 12 hours 11 pound which to be fair is might be the best rate for a lot of people because Pleasure Beach on the 10 till 10 10 till 9 so whatever they decide to do 12 hours that's 11 pound that's a good rate or you can stay up to a whole day which is 13.50 this is if you stayed in the coach though 48 hours 19 pounds but yeah 24 hours for cars 16 48 20. so yeah they are good rates here you can say up to 168 hours which is only 40 pounds but yeah, as i say though it is a massive car park and i would recommend parking in here even in the summer it's like this but yeah, for the sake of a five minute walk and paying 18 pounds to park in Pleasure Beach, why would you not park in here when you can see the rates are a lot cheaper? So yeah, this is one of the car parks I would recommend. I'll show you a Google Maps walking time on your screen now of how to get from here to either Pleasure Beach or Sandcastle. But it is about a five to seven minute walk from here. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the car parks, Blackpool South at the end of Eden Way, which is just over there. I'll show you a few other car parks nearer to Pleasure Beach, because you do have one by Sandcastle. There's some actually just on the opposite side, where that bus is, there's one behind that bus. And yeah, you've got on-street parking, which is free. You've got other uh, residential roads, which are free, but there's some that are resident parking only. But I'll show all that coming up. So yeah, Blackpool South here at the end of Eden Way.
Right, so the next car park I'm going to be talking about is this one here on the promenade, just in front of the Pleasure Beach and also just by the Sandcastle Water Park. This is called South Beach Car Park and you enter it across from the Watson Road Tunnel just by that concrete archway over there. It's a bit of a weird because it's got that little bit of a car park here and then it splits off. You have another little section just over there because there was a tram turning circle here. And if you remember when I rode the Heritage Illuminated Tram a few videos ago, that's where I boarded it just here, just by that green Heritage Tram stop sign there. Yeah, you've got a little bit of a car park over there and then this little bit of a road which links that one and the entrance and exit of the car park. I'll put a picture of the prices on your screen now. It does seem a little bit more expensive, about a £1.50 more for about two to three hours, I think it was. But yeah, it's still looking cheaper than the Pleasure Beach at this moment in time. So yeah, maybe this could be another good option to park. If you don't want to park in South, uh, Blackpool South train station car park, and don't want to walk that five to seven minute walk, park here if you can. Because if you're paying less, and you're literally across from the Pleasure Beach, which you can see is just there, next door to the Sandcastle, and South Pier just over there, but yeah, Blackpool South obviously is way over there now. Like I said, the 10 minute walk. South Beach Car Park is here, and yeah, you have the promenade parking along the prom here, all the on street parking, which I'll go over and show the prices of now. But yeah, I will show the Pleasure Beach parking as well, just in case you do fancy parking in them. But like I say, they are quite expensive compared to the Blackpool Council parking. Right, so I'm on the promenade now. Uh, as you can see, people are parking on the promenade. You are allowed to. And as ever, you do have to pay to park. Uh, some of the prices seem a little bit cheaper. Some of them seem a little bit more expensive, depending on how many hours you stay for. I mean, I took a picture of the prices from that black uh, meter over there. And it says for 10 hours, it is £10. So that is a pound an hour. But then if you were to park in this one, which is the South Car Park, South Beach Car Park, which I was just talking about, you can actually park for 12 hours for £9. So yeah, it's a little bit better deal in this one here. But if you only want to park for about two hours, and it is only about £1.50, which isn't too bad really, parking on the prom. If you want to go to Pleasure Beach for two hours, £1.50 in here, you're paying 18 quid in the park. So yeah, that's a massive saving parking on the promenade here. But yeah parking on the prom anywhere on the prom you do have to pay i'm afraid but i'll put another picture on your screen now of the charges that is i also put a sign of the restrictions because you have to pay between the hours of 10 a.m and 8 p.m if you come before 10 a.m it is free but then do be aware that after 10 a.m and you've not paid you do have to pay but if you come to Blackpool after 8 p.m you can park on the prom free of charge up until 10 a.m. the following morning, and that is every day, Monday through till Sunday. There are a few little bits of on-street parking all the way down by the Velvet Coaster over there. They are free every day with no paying uh, needed, but do be advised it is Monday to Saturday, you get two hours free, but on a Sunday, it's all day free of charge, so yeah. Just be aware of the signs down there and there are a few resident parking only zones down there as well so obviously if you're coming just be aware of the signage down there because obviously we don't want you to be getting parking tickets off the wardens that's the last thing you want on your holidays or your days out to blackpool getting slapped with a nice yellow ticket on your windshield but yeah as i say i've showed you blackpool south car park by union way i've showed you south beach which is here and i've also showed you now the promenade street parking so yeah i will finally end this little top tips on parking for the pleasure beach and surrounding areas video by actually showing you the prices for the pleasure beach parking and then i'll wrap it up this little video at the entrance of the park
looks like. I'll never be able to tell you how much it is to park in this car park, but I do believe it is £15 to park in here, but they have took the price off, so I'm not too sure on that one. So yeah, the last car park I'm going to talk about is the main car park here at Pleasure Beach. This is the Blackpool North main car park. And as you can see, you enter just under the archway with Mr. Funshine. As I say, this one is the £18 parking one. And it is card payments only because the park do not accept cash anymore. Um, yep, this car park never really gets full anymore because of the price. This one, as I said, is £18. But there is one by that funky looking tower over there at the back, which is £15. So as I've been saying throughout all this video, this is £18. You really want to be parking in this car park? I mean, it's a big group here and you're half it, then yeah, fair enough. But Blackpool South, the South Beach, the on-street parking, it's all cheaper or free. It is just worth pointing out the whole reason for me doing this video and, and this little series on top tips for the park it's not me having a go at the place for expensive parking or anything like that obviously we are in a price of living increase everything in life is going up uh, but yeah i'm just here to help everyone save a little bit of money to enjoy more days out with the family or friends but as i say though 18 quid for parking is a bit pricey but if there is a big group of you then obviously half in it or even third in it it's probably going to be okay but yeah is it worth paying 18 quid or is it worth parking on the street for free or at a very low rate i mean i know what i'd rather do i'd rather pay to park in blackpool south and do that five minute walk or even pay to park in the car park by sandcastle where you get longer and cheaper but yeah this little series is going to be running every few weeks or so so obviously this one was all about parking we're going to be doing one on the best way to navigate the park to get the maximum amount of rides in, best way to find cheap tickets, and other little top tips I can give you as well of this place. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. As I say, it's not all about doom and gloom on parking prices. I hope you've enjoyed it though. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more if you'd like to see more of these top tips from the park. So yeah, thank you and goodbye. Experience. 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 Experience.